That's a pretty nice soundtrack. Lost Planet 3 is the next game on the list. I believe it's 55, if I'm not mistaken. Before this was uh, Lichstone Battle Mage. Not as impressive. I remember playing this game for about 15 minutes uh, way when it came out, so I don't quite count it as having played it because I I don't remember anything about it. I remember that it didn't get favorable reviews, however, so that's kind of a shame, and I want to be the judge of that. So I highly doubt this game is going to support ultra wide, even though the mouse does go on the side. We're about to find out, I suppose. All right, so gonna go very high, very high. Motion blur is gonna go off. Uh, bloom is gonna be on, but depth of field and motion blur is gonna be off. And let's see, shadow detail very high, and we're gonna hit apply settings. Yes, confirm. Gonna go back. Controls, we're not gonna worry about it. Difficulty, I am gonna put it on easy because this is just an A to Z. We're not hardcore games over here, and uh, let's uh, fire up the campaign and see what it's about. 360 titles, like a gen before the one that we are right now, and PlayStation 3 titles, you could tell that the cinematics have not been reworked for PC because they're so low res and like the color is off, the gamma is off, but then you go into the game and it has been optimized for PC, or at least most of them are, and it's just like... 4k res 1440p everything is crystal clear the colors are more accurate and everything so that's how you know this is a 360 title see that has nothing to do with the cutscene but consoles didn't look this clear and uh, the faces are not that good <laughs> yep the cutscene goes to 16 by 9 but that's fine I'm used to that there's my light. Oh. That's pretty fun. The audio design just manages to create this amazing atmosphere. It's so brilliant. And I remember that the orange is the, uh, the soft spot of the of the monster so oh that's easy difficulty for you I'm sure they're not gonna be able to hurt me oh uh, maybe the ones that are coming towards me can hurt me it would make sense I don't have to fight all of them am I collecting those am I supposed to be collecting these or am I stepping on them? I'm just stepping on them. Looks like unlimited ammo for this uh, weapon, which is nice. Can I switch to like an automatic rifle? Oh, no. That's fine. Oh, there's the big guys. Yep. Oh, there you go. Oh. QTEs, obviously, because uh, God of War was a big thing back then. and. People tolerated it because it's got a war. Can we get some uh, Pacific Rim Giants over here? I wouldn't be surprised if Pacific Rim was inspired by this video game. Then yeah, there's probably books out of that shit. Nice. Ooh, the textures on those arms are not complementing the game. Here we go. Nice bloom effects. I like that. It doesn't do any rays though, so. Uh, hi. So I'm just gonna decide that it's not weird to be having a one-way conversation with you. Not weird at all. Yeah. Uh, oh hey, I thought you might need some music up there to keep you sane. It all magically works and you can leave as soon as your rig's up and running. Okay, that's it for now. Just let me know you got through one piece, okay? Miss you already. Nice voice acting. I know he's out there somewhere. Right out. 
so I have to find a way to open that door and I have to exit my rig. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay, let's explore. Hello? Hello? Guess we're even. Oh, droid deckers. Uh, yep. Guess I gotta hit him on the tail or the eyes. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna shoot the tail. Is he dead? So one of them is dead. That guy. Oh, shit. Come on, bitch. Yeah. Oh, I just need one more. Corona's actual. This is Peyton. I found your Frenchman. He's at a fueling depot near Watkins Pass. Oh, this is actual currency. I have to pick it up. A lot of attention has been given to the voice acting, the music, the visuals, the design of the world, the art direction and everything, the atmosphere, but not enough of not enough in pacing. Like the pacing is definitely off. At least so far. Oh no. How's my melee attack? Is it V? T? How do I switch to the knife? G to throw grenades. Bam. I'm out of grenades. Shit. So I'm not going to be able to kill that thing. There we go. Jeez, that took a long fucking time. Oh, what's this? Grenades. Yeah, that would have been nice. I have to hit P. That is just stupid. What is this? Ammo? I already have two grenades. Plus two grenades. Okay. That would have been helpful 15 minutes ago, which was how long it took for this thing to die. Oh. Really? Control configuration. Yep. It's uh, slightly off. The mouse can't go up here, but it does cut it off, so... And I'm getting a little bit of a headache right now, which is an indication of a low FOV. I need to book it.
Press and hold T to extract. T for to extract, I suppose? Oh, never mind. What? Why is this a cutscene? My game thought I was gonna kill everybody. Alright, let's see if I can extract this without the enemies attacking me. No, probably not. Jesus. There we go. I don't know what happened to my curse, uh, my crosshair, but that's gone. This looks different. Why does it have to crawl? That's not even that shallow. Getting stronger or something? It does manage to give you a a relative sense of urgency, so even though there's no really a, there's not a timer to make me go faster. I'm still gonna want to pick up all the credits. For all the enemies that I killed. Oh, they disappear after a while. That's definitely interesting to know. It's not that many anyway, so I don't think it's even worth it to go backtracking because the sprinting is just really slow. The sprinting could stand to be a little bit quicker. right behind me. Hey! That's my weapon slot. Utility... Oh, wow. That was... Okay. Did I just kill all of them? Okay. Getting back to base immediately. You guys are so needy. It's not doing it. I don't know. I can press F repeatedly. But that's... Well, that was a f fucking bad port. I just have to tap F. 
and of course. Really? V to repair. Because this was necessary. We done good. I just want to shoot some fucking big ass monsters. I'm gonna turn in this quest, but I'm also gonna at the same time turn in this video. I am probably gonna play a little bit more just to see what the game has to offer. But so far I'm I'm just disappointed by the pacing of the game and how fucking boring it's been. I wish there was an FOV slider, because the FOV is not nearly as much as I would like it to be, but it's still good enough. I see maybe some chromatic operation is on the parameters of this window here. Right, this is just red. Maybe it's just the graphics. But this leads me to believe that it's not just the graphics. But anyway, aesthetically speaking, the game is magnificent to look at. Uh, the voice acting is done very well. The music is just fucking awe-inspiring. The, the visuals, the vistas, like the the overall design language of the game is uh, is is highly up there. You know, this is the third game. It has a big studio behind it, and this was in 2013. I'm sure the story is not half bad, but I've never played uh, Last Planet one or two, so I can't really speak on that one. I've seen a lot of the boss battles, uh, not a lot, I've seen a couple of the boss battles online. The monsters are huge and they have a lot of uh, weak spots that you have to shoot them at. I just hate that there's just so much to do before we get to that, like having to get out of the uh, rig and repair the, the thing before I get back on the rig and do it again and then go do the third one. Uh, walking a long distance before I get to the next map area with nothing happening that's kind of boring if uh, if they're gonna do that at least they have to have like a, a map system like a quite fast travel which I, I I'm guessing they do later down the line if if it comes a, a little bit more open world but so far the impressions are not been that good if the gameplay is not there uh, and it sucks because it's it's a really well put together title so I'm gonna keep playing it a little bit more tomorrow and see where that takes me and see if there's any improvements to be had in this game otherwise thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next one peace